in today's video, I'm going to share how I take portraits using a car park. Everybody has a car park around the corner of their house or maybe in the nearest city. And in today's video, I'm going to share exactly how I position a model, how I use natural lighting and all the shapes of the car park creating awesome shots. So we're gonna be shooting from daytime into nighttime and that gives us nice possibilities with different types of lighting. All right, I'll just quickly run you through all the gear I brought for this photo shoot. So I'm gonna be photographing with my Canon R6, but I'm filming with it right now. I'm primarily gonna be shooting with the 50mm f1.4 from Sigma, the 28mm f1.4. I've been playing around with it and it's actually such an interesting focal length, so excited to use this one. So something that I love to do for my photo shoots as well is just rock up like half an hour earlier than the model. It gives me some time to look around, maybe do some location scouting, There she is. Oh, you look so nice. <laughs> Hello. So I am here with Elijah. She looks amazing. It's such a cool outfit, especially with all the jewelry. Like I love my jewelry. So it's gonna be perfect. So let's start shooting. Even like little peek throughs through here. That's gonna be so nice. If you stand there in that light spot and I'll be photographing from here. What happens if you like sit? Yeah, because then you have uh, sunshine in your face. A little trick that I love to do when I shoot at car parks, it's literally just going to the top floor. Like we're at level, we're at level 15 at the moment. And there is no one here. Of course, no one's gonna drive all the way up. Like 15 stories, it made me dizzy driving up here. So we have all the room and all the space and no creeps that will bother us while shooting. Hmm, maybe we can use this backlight. Yeah, where you're standing. Since we're so high up, I can literally use the skyline in the photos, which is pretty handy. Yeah, beautiful. Purposely framing Elijah like halfway of the framing, just so it creates a little bit more of an interesting photo. Wow. Love this as well. Maybe we can try one. I'll be standing there, but you're sort of like like walking like that. It's very casual. And then one step off the wall. Yeah, nice. Creates a bit more depth. Maybe a leather jacket on. Sort of like leaning back like this, so your hair goes a little bit down. Beautiful. It's just, I think of Melbourne, it's so cool. You have all the buildings and then there's green in the city. So perks of shooting with the 28 millimeter is I can shoot the inside of the garage, but also the surroundings outside the garage because the lens is so wide. Yeah, nice. You're doing something really tricky. And if, my drop my, if I drop my phone now, it's going to be very awkward. But we're literally hanging like this trying to get the photo and I actually love how the photos turned out. What I'm thinking is I see all these like pillars there against the one just before the red one. So I saved this photo and I really want to try it now with my car and then Elijah standing sort of in the mirror. I have no idea if this is going to turn out as good as this example photo, but we're just going to give it a try because there's only one way to find out. Look at that already. She's just She's not even posing yet and it looks cool. Yep, I think that's it. 
cool. We just got all the photos like here in the garage, but of course, every parking garage comes with a staircase. So that is exactly where we're gonna take some photos right now. I have no idea if this is gonna work, so let's give it a go. Yes. Hello. Cool. It just looks like a different city now. <laughs> so cool with all the lights. Stunning. And that's the end of the photo shoot. We kept it very simple and all of the photos in this video are edited with my Lightroom presets. I edit every single one of my photo shoots with these presets and you can find the link in the description to download them. So that is it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I also hope to see you at my next one. Okay, bye bye. Doei.